Hey guys, War here, and we're gonna do a live gameplay showing you how to self power level from one to 70. Let's do it. All right, so we're just gonna go. You can do this, you can go to, um, you can go to a Nephilim Rift if you really want to, but the first place I'm gonna go to is the, I think we're gonna go to act five and go to the ruins of Corvus. This is a buddy of mine's favorite place, so we're gonna start here. Torment six, let's get it, start the clock. Look at that, we're already level 10. Level 15. Okay, they're all dead. We need to go in and equip items. We got all of our items equipped. Now we're ready to vibe out. We're actually 30, so we need to go in and make sure we have our skill because we're doing everything on Mystic Ally. So make sure you do this really quick. Try not to take too much time. Um... Because you want to be able to go through this really, really fast. Uh, we want dashing strike on one. Uh, we need this to be, where is it? Cyclone strike implosion. Fists of thunder can be this. Hands of lightning. We want some defense. We're basically going to set this up as if we had... Um, uh, I guess inner sanctuary for now and let's go guys we're already level 30 31 already now the we're already 39 40 41 you can see how the mystic ally is just like destroying right now Look at that first couple of minutes we're already to 50 we're Two minutes in. Already 52. Ooh. This guy's hurt a little bit. He almost got me. And you're going to start to see that we're not going to be able to one-shot everything. But as soon as we get to uh, 61, we're going to want to grab Epiphany. But that's okay. That's okay. We want to keep this going. Because every time we Cyclone Strike, our guys are going to do even more damage. Which is exactly what we want. 55. 55. Let's go. I guess we... Yeah, I guess that kills them. That's fine. You are defeated. So we have the added addition here. Keep that going. So any monsters that are like are not one shot, we're gonna want to. We're gonna want to hit with Cyclone Strike. All right, we don't want to waste too much time, so we're probably just gonna teleport and go to. Halls of Agony. Look at that, guys. We're three minutes in. three A little over three minutes in, and we're about to hit 60. Isn't that just fantastic? Let's add Quicksilver here. Um, all that's good. Yeah, we're not one-shotting anymore, but... Oh, and we just died. Ooh. We didn't want that to happen. Whoops. My we need Mystic Ally to go. I don't know if we want the um We need we need to you know our thing up. There we go. There we go. We need those buddies crashing. There we go. Come on, come on. Like I said guys, you could always do a rift as well. Just to speed this process up. I'd like to get to 61 so we can move around the map a little faster. Sixty. Sixty-one. Skills, we're gonna uh, change this to Epiphany. Because we want to pop that off. We want to be moving. There we go. Already 61. 
There we go. Keep it going, baby. I like it. Oh, yeah, we do. Shoot, we do need spirit, huh? 63 already. Watch out for the fire. Alright, we're at the end. We're not going to spend any more time. We're just going to go to Halls of Agony 3. Actually, we are going to change that. We're going to go to Fields of Misery. Whoops. We want to be able to be out in the open. Move around. As you can see on the map, guys, the uh, purple thing is there for the... Oh, I probably could have... Oh! What? Let me revive in town because I want to add... We need to add the... Um... Oh, we actually need... Uh, we want Beacon on there instead. We want Ascension. Quicksilver is fine. I guess we'll just keep blinding speed for now. And we'll go back. Whenever Epiphany decides to come back. So now they're one-shotting me. So we probably need to um, put some other items on here. Because we are just weak as a button. Let's uh, throw on a Hellfire Ring. I mean, we don't necessarily need that. But we can put on a couple other items to just make us a little bit tougher. Which is fine. Okay, we should be okay. Because uh, we need to add Epiphany Desert Shroud. That's what we want. Okay. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Much better. There we go. Let's go, baby. Ah, man. I'm still just so... We're 65, but we are so... Um, oh, I guess I need to repair items. Don't kill me. I must wait longer. We, have, we must repair damaged items. I'm doing such a bad job at this, guys. I'm sorry. Towards the end. Uh, repair. Excellent. Let's go back. There we go. Excellent. Killed the keyboarden. We're wasting time. Four levels to go. Oh, we should have equipped our pet and stuff just for... Just to have a gold pickup. That's okay. That's all right. There we go. 67. These boys are tough. Protection Shrine, sure. If you see any fools, always save them for level 68 and 69. Just because it'll give you 25% extra EXP to finish off these last couple levels. We're not going to do a curse. I guess we could do a curse chest. Sure, why not? Sixty nine. Let's keep going. We're almost done. Your strength fails. Yes, we do. Keep them stunned, baby. Oh my god, we're almost there. We need our we need better cooldown, boy. Come 
Come on, come on. 70, boys. All right. All right, let's go to town. 70 in under 10 minutes. Boom shakalaka, guys. So there you have it. Again, guys, 1 to 70 in under 10 minutes. We used all of the items. We only added a couple items, which I should have mentioned in the previous video, to kind of help keep you alive. Like I said, the, the difficulty scales when you hit about 60, 58. The monsters get harder. They don't, they don't become one shot. But you're going to need a couple other items just to kind of stay alive. We only added three. Otherwise, we kept all of our normal items that we started in the video, which I'll link down below, guys. If you want to know the, the method that I use to go from 1 to 70 in under 10 minutes, check out that video. The link is down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. And stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.